Okay. So I said, I struggle seriously from imposter syndrome. Like we talked about this at the Chicago retreat. So Chrisanne and Anya would know, are familiar with this. This is something that I have struggled with for such a long time. And I think sometimes the exposure in the hedgy house will force me to grapple with it even more. And so it's, it can lead us into being overly consistent because we see the success of others and we feel like I need this too. I'm an Enneagram four. So I am comparing myself. I am saying I have that jealousy of like, I'm watching these people succeed. Why am I not succeeding? So I have to process that. And that is my thing. That's not anybody else's problem. That's something I have to work on, but it can make me go one way into the unhealthy burnout side uh, or the unhealthy side of consistency to tr just doing it too much, putting three hours a day in instead of my single one hour. And those extra two hours aren't necessarily going to help me be any more productive, but they are going to wear me down. And so I have to, there's also a direction of like, well, I don't have it. I'm done. What am I, am I doing this? There's no point. So I have to bring myself back up into the middle, back into that healthy level of consistency of my work. And so I still have to keep ded dedicating that time, not too much, not less. And I need to lean on that. And so I try to stick to that one hour. And I usually am on prickles Monday through Friday at 10 o'clock. That's usually my time. Um, but I also try to factor, you know, with this, with the slack and with engaging with other hedgies. Like I said this at my 18 month thing with Anya. I am not in a race with any of the other hedgies. We are all running our own race. We are all in our own little marathon because it is a freaking marathon. We are putting all this effort into getting this book finished and it feels long and it is hard and we have the highs and lows, right? We're at that, we know we are halfway through that marathon. We're doing great, but we know that we're about ready to lag. We're going to have that energy plummet. We need to take those, you know, the little jelly beans, the little slurpy drinks that the marathoners take to keep themselves going. So we can sisters for that. We are, they are our water stations. They're the ones giving us the drink as we keep on going. They're the ones holding the signs up to keep us running forward. So we are not in competition with them. They are our cheering squad. And I think if we can consider our hedgy sisters in that way, it makes it a little easier when the imposter syndrome creeps up. Cause these people are not waving it in my face. They are tell they are proud and they should be. They just did a freaking marathon. They're now ready to pass out on the far end because they did all that work. And now they can just enjoy that it's done and they can reap what is on the other side. I want that just as badly, but I have to keep going because that's my only way that I can get in any way close. Burnout, it's going to make me drop. Stepping away, I'm never going to get to that finish line. So I have to lean on my hedgy sisters through that. One way to help keep ourselves showing up when it feels so hard to show up is giving ourselves rewards. Rewards help create motivation. And so if you are someone who is inconsistent and has trouble showing up, then you need to build yourself in a room. And what you do is you make the reward come after you show up. You don't make it results-based. You don't make it, I have to write a thousand, I have to write 2000 words. I have to be, you know, three hours. I have to finish this chapter. We don't build it out that way. We build it out as saying, I need to show up. If we're trying to build the consistency and that's where we're lacking, a reward system is the best way to go. And what you do is when that hour is up, you give yourself that reward. You don't delay it. You don't stay on for two extra hours. You pause, you go get your reward, your cookie, whatever it's going to be. And then you can come back if you feel you are ready to, and you can keep going. But the point is that you give yourself the reward as soon as you finish. And then the next time you need to show up, you are already getting that motivation going because you know, there's something at the end. So you're actually might be able to show up in better spirits, creativity flowing, because you know, something is good. It's only an hour. And then you get something at the end because you did it. And so if you can build yourself some level of motivation that can, and you can keep yourself from overdoing it because you force yourself to pull yourself out of those prickles because I am one who gets lost. So I get stuck, but you can give yourself that reward and then that helps to pull you away. Yeah, for real, Sarah, we're going to start chipping you donuts <laughs> for only writing uh, for one prickle, maybe one and a half. Um, and if you're on for the third hour, if I'm showing up, at a heads down and you're still on, I'm gonna kick you off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh, that's awesome. And yeah, Chrisanne makes a really great, uh, she echoed the point of, you know, we're working on the skill of showing up. The writing is different. The the writing skills, we, we sharpen, um, you know, as as we go, as we progress, as we meet with our BFFs, as we da da da, right? Fill in the blank. Um, but it's the, the showing up part. We have no problems thinking about our stories. That's what I keep trying to like remind us. We have no problem thinking about our stories. They are on our hearts all the time. There's a reason why I ask hiding hedges, what's the story on your heart? And if she can tell me right away, and then I ask even longer, like how long has this story been on your heart? Since high school, for three years. And it's like, and you're still thinking about it and you haven't given up on it. And like, if this conversation is sounding familiar, it's because it's kind of like our informal interview <laughs> that we do before inviting Hedy into the house. I want to know that you have a story on your heart, that you have refused to give up on it, even if there, especially if there have been breaks, because then I want to be like, come here, I have secret sauce. <laughs> I have something that will get you to where you want to go. 